Wakey, wakey, eggs and bacon. Let's do some art. Ready or not. Here I come. Here I come. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a faux book that's actually a mystery box, and I'm using this to fill it with candy for my daughter. Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, um, basically, I create a box. So it looks just like this, right? I'll put the link below for the tutorial that actually shows you how to make these. Um, I made one that was just a book cover, but then all you do if you're going to make it into a box is you have these little sides that you put on. These are going to be candy boxes because when I was younger, or well, I was younger, but um, when I was a young mom, I should say, um, I always had to hide my candy. Um, I wasn't a huge candy eater. I'm more of a um, salt, salt but I would like to, I would buy candy because uh, every once in a while I would want a piece and I would never be able to keep any for the, those times because the kids would always eat everything if they saw so, it. So um, what I did is I created just a secret candy box. They used to love asking if they could get a special candy from my candy box when they were behaved. So um, it became this fun thing. So I'm going to show you guys um, in the other video, I'll link below of how to make the box. But what I want to do now is just focus on the artwork and how I do it. So I start off with the box that looks just like this. It does not look like anything fancy. I use hot glue to actually draw on the picture um, of whatever I, I'm going to do. And I'm also going to make um, a hot glue attachment for here where it kind of locks it in place. Um, so what I did here was I'm doing um, the psychic eye or the evil eye. I think I'm going to have to do one more section right here. Um, but as you can see, it doesn't look like much. It just looks like a bunch of hot glue. Never underestimate what you've done with your hot glue art because it's going to look a lot better once you paint it. This is my interpretation of the psychic eye or the evil eye. My husband gave me a little bit of a complex because he looked at it and said, oh, fried eggs, ha ha. Maybe you guys can help me figure out what to call these. I've gone from mystery box to faux book to hideaway book to candy box. I just don't know what to call this that is a short label. So maybe you guys can help me and put it in the comments.
so while I'm doing my art, I like to also watch Christine McConnell, who is an amazing artist. If you haven't seen her, you got to check her out. You can see her on YouTube and also follow her on Patreon. She's an amazing artist. When you're done hot gluing, then you're going to paint it black just like you did the rest of it. Oh my goodness, you guys, we are finally done and I love the end result. I hope my daughter doesn't think it looks like fried eggs. Do you think it looks like a fried egg? Let me know. Thank you so much for your support and I will see you on the next video. I can't wait to see what we create next. And don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below please and follow me on my Patreon page on January 1st. It's launching. It'll be under Sufani's World, The Impractical Magical Artist. Thanks again. Bye-bye. Yes, yes, my, 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 my